everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm back with an oldie but a goodie, and that is this bag right here. This is my Louis Vuitton River side, and for those of you that don't know, this is this was actually my very first Louis Vuitton handbag. This is how everything started for me. After I got this, I really started building my collection. So this bag is indeed very, very special to me. And the past few days that I've been really using it, I'm realizing how this bag is really so much like Neverfull. It's essentially like the new Neverfull. Now my Neverfull bag is right over here. It's sitting in the back. But this video is really not to discourage you from like buying Neverfull or saying like it's not good, it's like just something wrong with it. It's really not the intention. I just want to basically, um, you know, convey the fact that how this bag is so much comparable to the Neverfull. And there might be few people out there who are looking for an alternative to the Neverfull. And I think this bag is really it like it's up there on the list and you should definitely consider getting this so if you're interested in kind of finding out the differences and similarities of both of these bags then definitely keep on watching but do consider subscribing by hitting the big fat red button down below i mean it would totally mean the world to me if you would consider subscribing staying connected with me and joining my little youtube family now without further ado let's just jump on to talking about both of these bags right away so really quickly, let me show you what the bag looks like from the inside. So here is the reverse side. It's got two big compartments with a slip pocket in the back. It's also got a middle zippered section, which is connected at the bottom. So your things don't slide from back in, like from one compartment to another back and forth. And then it's also got this additional pocket in the front. Um, and then nothing on the back at all. Here is it with five feet and then this is basically the front. So that is Riverside. Now really quickly, I'm gonna show you the Neverfull. So here is my Neverfull. I went with the red interior and right now I have um, an organizer in the back. So I'm gonna quickly take it out so you guys can really see what it looks like on the inside. So here is the never fall totally empty. It does have a back zipper pocket, but that's about it. There's no other organization or anything like that. As you can see, it's a huge bag. So you can already tell that it does fit quite a bit, but comparatively, even this one, like this bag really holds quite a bit as well. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this bag does come with a strap. So here is my strap. I'm sure you guys saw it on the inside when I like when I was opening the bag, but this is the strap for the bag and it's not adjustable, but I think it's perfect to go over the shoulder. I'll definitely be inserting some like match shots and pictures, me wearing the bag so you guys can see, but this is the strap. It's thick, it's nice, it's comfortable. So that's definitely a plus for this bag. Both of these bags also fit a laptop. Now this bag, I know it doesn't look like it would fit a laptop, but it fits a 13 inch laptop super duper easily. In fact, I've done like, um, like one year review where entire video on this. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. But yeah, so this bag, like I was saying that it fits a laptop so, so, so easily. And so does the Neverfall. And they both essentially have a secure section. So for this one, the secure section is in the middle. So it's good for your like passports or like money, wallet, all that like important stuff. And so does the Neverfull. Like Neverfull also has a secure section in the back that you can use for like any of the important stuff. So they both have a secure section and that's amazing because for an open bag like that, it's important to have uh, like a, a secure section that you can hide stuff and put stuff in. But what's amazing is that for Riverside, like you have a pre-divided section and you have additional organization. So you really don't need to get an organizer or anything like that for this bag. It's there's so many sections already. You have so many organization to do. So that's really amazing. Whereas for Neverfull, you would have to buy an organizer depending on kind of like your need, whether you feel like you want an organizer in the back. So I think that is the biggest difference when it comes to both of these bags. And if you talk about the strap, like I feel like the strap on the Riverside is just so much more comfortable. It's definitely like not adjustable and all that stuff, but you can use another strap with this bag. So I am actually thinking of getting like a monogram strap or even Dami Ravine. I don't know what's gonna look good yet, but it's definitely in my list of getting, like I wanna get a strap to go with this bag just so that I can play around with 
um, the length and you know like how I want it like how I want it to look on my body frame you know if, if you know what I mean so that's why like so what I'm trying to say is that the strap option on the Neverfull is really just limited like you can only wear this on your shoulder or maybe crook off your arm which kind of looks big to be honest um but there's really no strap options when it comes to never full fair and so for riverside you do have strap options and for some reason i've always found the strap on the never full a little bit short i don't know how other people find the straps but for me they're definitely a little bit smaller like a little bit on the smaller side especially when i'm wearing like a big heavy coat on it's really not too bad like it, it does fit and everything but they're also thin whereas forever side it is very very comfortable it's a thick strap i think i did show you the strap before but here is a quick look at it again like i said the strap is very very comfortable it's very um like it's a thick strap and it's not that thick honestly but it is thick enough to be worn very very comfortably which is definitely a plus now there's definitely a price difference between the two which is a huge huge deciding factor honestly like this is at least a thousand dollars more compared to this one and what's amazing is that neverfull does come with a lot of passion now, you might have noticed that i don't have a pouch with it at all and that is because i ended up selling the pouch that comes with the bag and I have no regrets whatsoever. Like I was not using the pouch at all. It was just sitting around in my closet and I had not used it, not even once. And I sold it, I got a good price for it. And it, which essentially meant that the price of this bag originally like went down by like $300, $400. So you can't really complain. It's amazing, I love it. Um, but I feel like um, price wise, like, you know, Neverfull is definitely a lot better like it's a better bang for your buck for sure but riverside is like it's fancier you know what i mean like if you want a chode that looks fancy that you can take around with you but at the same time fits a lot then definitely this is your preferred choice now obviously neverfull does fit a little bit more than this one and that's because it's got like open tops so you can literally like pile stuff in the mid like right on top of each other and it would fit a lot more that is for sure but i think it's also give and take like it depends on whether you're the type of person who keeps like piling up stuff and wants to like have one big compartment that you can just keep fitting things in i'm the type of person who doesn't need that very often so i think for me riverside is just perfect like it's giving it's giving me organization at the same time i can you know like pile up stuff individually into each compartment so that works out really well for me and the added bonus is that it looks fancy even you know if you're going for a meeting or if you want to uh, like i said fit a lot and still look really put together and if you want something that matches all of your outfits then i think this is an amazing amazing choice so overall i feel like riverside is just so much more prettier you have two color options that comes in this one as well as the black and they're both really really pretty i think it's just so hard to choose which one to go for so i feel like this is really pretty it looks fancy so if you have like a little bit extra dollars to spend then definitely go for this one it's a good good choice but like the neverfull is also an amazing choice i mean it's it's really good it's a good throw around bag you know what i mean like you can literally like take this to the airports like anywhere pretty much and then you don't have to worry about babying it too much you know i think it's just it's just perfect so they both obviously have like their uh pros and cons but i feel like they're very 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 comparable and if you have like like i said a little bit extra money to spend that i think you would be very very happy like getting a riverside because it fits a lot it fits a laptop it's a business type of looking it's good for work it's good for meetings it's good for like even traveling because it does fit a lot it so here we have our never full cinched in which obviously gives it a totally different look but i feel like right now you can really see like when it's cinched in like this it kind of looks like this if you know what i mean like not exactly but they kind of look very very similar and this is obviously a really cute look too but keep in mind that when you are cinching this in you're limiting yourself from the space that like the amount of things that fit inside 
even when I have it cinched in like this, my organizer would really not fit into this bag. Whereas this one, it kind of looks cinched in already, but it does have like, your space is not limited. Like it, you, you're still having the same amount of space. So that's what I really like about this one. And one of the things I forgot to mention earlier is the closure. So the like the Neverfull has this one. Whoops, I almost dropped my Riverside, which is not good, but I caught it just in time. So um, like I was saying that the closure on Neverfall is like, it's got this lobster clasp. So it's, you can really close the bag, but it's essentially still like open from the top. And that is very much similar to this bag. So this bag has a magnetic closure, which really goes like this. So although it looks like it is closed, it really is not. I mean, it does it is open like it's really like open up top and um you know it's very much similar to the closure of the neverfull like they're both kind of open on the top but at the same time they both have a section where you can put like your more valuable things so like i said they're very similar like these bags like i was mentioning to you guys earlier they're very very similar um, but yet kind of different, but I feel like this definitely is very, very comparable to the Neverfall. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that Neverfall is a great, great, great bag. But if you're looking for something a little bit more fancy, something that goes, that can go with all of your outfits, whether it is casual, whether it is like business casual, whether it is a little bit fancy, then I feel like this bag, Riverside, is definitely a better, better, much better alternative. So if you have a little bit extra money to spend on a toad, and if you still want to go fancy, something nice, then I feel like Riverside is a great, great, great choice. So definitely do consider it. It does come in two colors. I think previously it came in three colors. Now there's two. So there's this one and then there's black. And I think they're both really, really beautiful. And there's definitely choices when it comes to Neverfull as well. Neverfull is really so popular there. Every now and then they have new colors, new special editions coming. Um, so it's really amazing. Like you have so many different options to choose when it comes to Neverfall. But like I said, Riverside is definitely more fancy. It's just a little bit more put together. I really love it. And that's basically my comparison of both of these bags. And really just trying to tell you that this bag is a great, great, great alternative to the Neverfall. But I would love to know your thoughts. Like let me know in the comment box down below. What do you guys think? Like, do you guys think that this would make a really good Neverfull? I mean, I essentially think that this is a great alternative to Neverfull, but I would love to know what you think too. So let me know down below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. It really does it for today's video. And I'll see you guys now in my next video very, very soon. I really can't wait. In the meantime, do consider subscribing to my channel, staying connected with me. Give me a big, big, big like and I'll see you guys now in my next video very soon. Like I said, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.